Okay. In this video, we will explain the couple systems. And just to compare, um, let's see what's happened if we have an equation like 2x plus x squared equals zero. Then in this case, let's suppose that we are looking for a number, then we can solve that equation. Then the answer is one number. But if we have something like 2x plus x squared plus y equals zero, and x minus y plus two equals zero, then this would be a system of equations and it is more challenging, right? Because you need to find two numbers. But when, when one of the equations, let's say that we have this equation and we have this equation, uh, when one of the equation doesn't have one of the, only have one variable, then we call this a decoupled system. Because, and the way to proceed is we solve first the equation that doesn't have the two variables, and then we do this one. In this case, for example, to solve this, we can say uh, x factor of, of 2 plus x equals 0. That means that x equals 0 or x equals negative 2. And then if x equals 0, if x equals 0, then y is equal to, then we have a solution 0, sorry, y equal to, we have a solution 0, 2, and if x equal negative 2, then y would be equal 0, then we have a solution negative 2, 0. But the point is that when one of the questions doesn't have the two variables, then it's easier. And then that's the reason it's called the couple. Uh, in differential equations, we are looking not for numbers, but we are looking for functions. And usually we have been looking for equations that looks like this, dx dt equals, I'm sorry, dy dt equals to 2y. Here we are looking for a function. y is just that lazy way to denote y of t. But we are looking for a function. Um, and then this is just looking for a function, but we can also look like for two functions like uh, dx dt plus 2x equal 5 y of t y squared of t. And you see, we have, been, we have been using the notation that we don't write the y of t, we only write y. And something like dy dt minus x of x equal to y minus x squared, right? Here, remember that when we are in differential equations, x is an x of t and y equal to y of t. Then we are looking for two functions and then this is a lot more challenging. But we are going in this like video, we are going to consider the couple systems. That means that one of the differential equations only depends on one function. It doesn't have the other. Um, let me do one example. Um, let's say dx dt, dx dt equal 3x plus y, and dy dt equal to 2. Let's find the general solution of this. In this case, the reason it is decoupled is because this equation only has the function y of t. It doesn't have the x and y. Then, as, as in this case, we proceed by solving first the one that doesn't have the two functions. Then in this case, if the y dt is equal to, um, then we have that the y is just 2t plus a constant. Let's call this constant C2. I'm calling it C2 because there will be two constants involved and I like to use the C2 for the y and the C1 for the x. Then, as I did here, once you find a solution, you replace it in the other equation. Then I will replace this into this equation. And then I will end up with the equation dx dt equal to 3x plus y, but instead of y, we write 2t plus ct. And how to do this? This is something that we have done before. 
It is called a linear equation, and we are going to use the guessing technique. In this case, the general solution is going to be the solution of the homogeneous plus the particular solution. The solution of the homogeneous, the homogeneous equation, is what we get when we replace this part with zero. Right? We replace this by zero, and then we get this differential equation, dx dt equals to three times x. The solution of this is c1 e to the 3t. And how do I find the particular solution? To find the particular solution, we look at the non-homogeneous part, which is this. We notice that the non-homogeneous part is a polynomial of order 1. Then we look for something of the form at plus b. We, this is just like a trying to see what can, what can I pick for a and b so that this function is a solution for this. Then let's see. Uh, the differential equation tells us take the derivative. Then in this case, the derivative of this function is a. And we want this to be three times the function. But what is the function? at plus b. Right? And then plus 2t plus c2. One of the things is that, that we want to find a and b. The c1 and c2 are going to be part of the answer. How do we find a and b? Uh, this is similar to partial fractions. We need just to expand. And this is we a is equal to 3at plus 3b plus 2t plus c2. And we compare coefficients. What is the coefficient of t on the left? There is no coefficient of t on the left. Zero. Or, and what is the coefficient of t on the right? We have, a, we have this two. We have a 3a plus 2. And what is the constant coefficient on the left is a, and on the right is 3b plus c2. Remember, we are solving for a and b. Then from here, from this equation, the first equation, we get that a is negative 2 thirds. And when I replace here, we have negative 2 thirds equal 3b plus c2. And that means that b is going to be negative 2 ninth. I'm going to move the c2 to the left, and I'm going to divide by 3. Minus c2 over 3. That means that uh, my solution is going to be, remember, we are looking for two functions. The function x is the homogeneous, which is c1 e to the 3t plus the particular, but the particular is a. What is a? a is negative 2 thirds, negative 2 thirds times t plus b. It would be minus 2 ninth minus c2 over 3. And what is y? y would be uh, 2t plus c2. Then we were looking for two functions, and here they are. And it's a decoupled system because one of the equations only have one function. And then we solve that one first, and then we replace into the other, and we use the techniques that we have learned to solve the, the other equation. Then we end up with two functions as a solution. This is the general solution. Usually in a system, the general solution has two constants, C1 and C2. Okay, this is it.